friends, <clears throat> how's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Okay. Um, it's good to be back in front of you again. Sunday and Monday, I didn't do nothing. It was kind of run down, so I didn't do nothing. Laid in bed and watched, um, watched TV. But anyway, I'm back. So today I'll be making some chili. And on Walter's way out, he went for his treatment. He said, what you cooking today? I want some chili. So I'm making some chili. He don't like it as much as I do. So I was surprised he asked, actually asked for chili. Okay. I'm starting with some ground beef sirloin. It's 90-10. And we made a hamburger out of it. So this is two and a quarter pounds, so I'll say it's two pounds left. Ground beef sirloin. I'll be using some Brooks chili beans. I like beans in my chili. And I'll be using some light red kidney beans. This has a thick uh, juice to it. And I'll be using some chunky salsa. It has the bell pepper and all this stuff chopped up in it. Since Walter don't like me to chop up onion and bell pepper and celery and all that stuff. I love it, but he, he don't like it. And I'll be adding the chili mix. Okay, I only got one chili mix. I got two taco mixes. So it's basically the same thing except taco mix doesn't have as much chili powder in it. So, I'm, so you're supposed to use one packet per pound of meat. So I'm using three packets because I like it heavily seasoned. And since I ain't chopping up nothing in it, I'll be using garlic powder and onion powder celery seed and some red pepper flakes okay that's it so let's get busy and I'll be doing some one pot cooking okay I'm gonna uh, use my three quart instant pot pressure cooker so I just plugged it in, so I'm going to put it on the saute function. So I'm not going to bring anything up to pressure. I'm just going to cook in this just like it's a regular pot. Okay. I'll be using my meat, the ground beef breaker upper after the uh, meat starts to cook some. Let me get a spoon. Okay, while this is heating up, open these cans. I've already cleaned the lids off even though I really don't have to with this can opener. I don't think y'all seen my can opener before. It's a Hamilton Beach can opener 
and it actually takes the lid off without leaving a sharp edge. No sharp edge. And I, I don't wash my rinse the beans off, I use the juice. I'm surprised that Walter asked for chili. Very surprised. He never asked for chili. Okay. By this being 90, 10, uh, ground beef. I don't think I'm going to have to drain any grease out. I'm going to have to use the 80 20. It would be grease up in here. It's just going to be very little juices. And I will try to angle my camera better than I did last time I used my instant pot so y'all can see what's going on it'll make this so you can tear it easily This is like a regular cooking pot. I also could have used my uh, rice cooker. It does the same thing. Put on the saute function. I always listen for the pot. The smell it. Oh, this smells so good. It has everything in it. Bell pepper, onion. I don't know what else. Tomato. Look like jalapenos. Yeah. When this gets a little more cooked, then I use my meat tamper. If I use this now, 
raw ground beef will just get stuck all in here and I don't want that. So I'll be back when, the, when this meat is done. And I don't season my meat until it's done. Because uh, stuff like chili powder and stuff like that will only make the meat darker. And it may look done, but it ain't done. But the meat has, the seasoning has colored the meat, making it look done. So I'll just wait till it's completely done before I season it. It's just something I do. I'll be back. Okay, my meat is completely done. See in there? No pinkness. Okay, now I'm going to season my meat. I didn't use the meat tamper at all. Put it back in the drawer. Didn't have to dirty up another thing. Put in the three packs of seasoning mix. With seasoning mixes, you always need to add water. So I got my water out of my cooler because I don't drink my uh, drink or cook with my what you call it, tap water. Just bathe with it. I'm going to add some water. It's cold, so it's going to cool this way down. That's right, I don't know if you noticed or not, but there wasn't any grease in here. Just a little bit of juice, just a little bit. Else I would have drained the grease out. Okay, it's not sizzling anymore because I put that cold water in there. So I might as well finish with my seasonings. Onion powder. There's no salt in this so I can sprinkle freely. Garlic powder, no salt in here. Celery seed. Red pepper flakes. Or crushed red pepper. See, I didn't add any extra salt because it's salt in those seasoning packets. Oh, my Worcestershire. What's this here sauce? Put this in everything. I may add some hot sauce later. Beans. And my salsa. Like I said everything is in the salsa. See how chunky it is. And since the uh, meat is completely done, then I can taste this. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that means it's good. 
just want to use this whole jar. This would not taste like tacos. And I don't need to add any hot sauce. Let me see what's in here. Jalapeno peppers. Yep. Yum, 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 yum. So we'll let this simmer. Look at that. Look at all that goodness. All I dirtied up was this pot here. And then when I store it, I'll just take this inner pot out, put um, the lid on it, and put the refrigerator. I don't think it's the same thing as having pots in the icebox. <laughs> My mother didn't allow pots in her refrigerator. No, we had to put the food up properly. Okay, I'm let this simmer. And I will be back. Stuff all on the edge. Mm. It's just a regular cooking pot top. So, it's just 2 o'clock. I really don't want to eat right now, but I'll dish me up a little bit to show y'all how it looks after it's done. So I'm going to sign off now. I want to thank you all for watching. Give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed day. But every goodbye ain't gone. I'll be back to show you the finished product. Okay, I'll let it simmer a while. Some little chunks in there. I didn't chop up anything. It's from the salsa. So I can see Walter now, he's going to have him a separate paper towel to pick out each and every chunk. Okay. Got my oyster sausage ready. My shredded cheddar cheese ready. And this cute little bow for soups and chilies and stews. I think I'll just eat now. That's my problem. I don't never eat until maybe late in the day. I eat one meal, which I know is not good. Being diabetic. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. Cancel. Press the cancel button. And do I wanna keep it warm? I'm gonna keep it warm.
and it was piping hot. Chunks of tomato in here, jalapeno, bell pepper, onion, you know it's piping hot, don't you? Y'all saw everything I added. You don't need nothing else. Oh my goodness, this is good. for watching. Give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed rest of the day. Bye. Bon appetit. I'm trying to get a thumbnail. Look at Okay.